dance house. Ah, yeah. You owe me twenty dollars. Welcome back to First Impressions. My name is Seth Pomeroy. I just watched a movie called Robot Dreams. I love this movie. There's certain things that come along, art things, where you're like. Okay, this is exactly the kind of thing I love. In another life, I wanted to be a cartoonist. So when I saw an image from this film, I was like, oh, that's exactly the kind of thing I like. You know, it's sort of animation akin to like The Simpsons, Futurama, Rocco's Modern Life. Like there is some elements of all of that in this film. The movie takes place in the 80s. There's references to this throughout, but it's not an 80s movie. It's more about New York City. Every single location, every single storefront, everything is done with such meticulous detail. And that is what makes this movie movie so fucking cool to look at. There's so much attention to detail in the world surrounding these main characters. The plot of the movie is quite simple. I'm not gonna give away a lot of what happens, but I'll just simply say a dog who lives in an apartment in New York who's quite lonely in the big city orders a robot through QVC or something of the sort, gets it, puts it together, and builds an instant friend. Through that, some complications happen along the way, but basically throughout a calendar year or so, we get different snapshots of their life, mixed in with dreams. There's more to it than that plot wise, but I'm not, I'm not going to tell you any of that stuff. The movie has no dialogue, but that does not mean the movie is stagnant. The majority of the film, or no, the whole film is sound designed like crazy. On top of that, they use music to an incredible degree. But the theme to this movie is a song by Earth, Wind and Fire that everybody fucking knows called September. I never know the lyrics to the song and I've been fake singing it my whole life as a joke, uh, but it's the song that goes, Bonnie, Fucking with my grandma, fire. You messed up my daddy's house. Uh, obviously, those are not the lyrics. <laughs> and I'm a fucking crazy person, so that's just me fucking around. But they use that song as the sort of the theme for their friendship, and it comes up throughout the whole movie, and it's so beautifully used and poignant. And there's even alternate versions of it that are used for different moments. And it becomes this really like gorgeous anthem for friendship. It sags maybe here and there a tiny bit midway through, but it's still delightful in those moments. And it picks right back up. And when it resolves, it's fucking beautiful. So I'm not gonna tell you again the plot of the thing, but I was blown away by this movie and it might not be out yet in the wider, you know, country, but um, it will be. And it was bought by Neon. He's put out a lot of great movies. So mark it down as a movie you need to see, Robot Dreams. Thanks so much for watching. Of course, leave a comment and please like and subscribe and all that shit. And uh, I'll see you next time.